All right, Shane Finkelstein from Not Your Mama joins us in the cookbook studio along with Kit Wall. And we're going to show you how to do a breakfast taco and a margarita. Hello for breakfast. <laughs> for the top taco festival and agave uh, week. That's this Thursday from 7 to 10 at Waldenburg Park. Thanks so much for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I feel very powerful with this. <laughs> well, no, I don't know what you're going to do with that spoon, but I'm, I'm looking out. She's going to punish you. Yeah, well, I kind of need it. <laughs> what, do we, what do we cook here? So we, is, we have our uh, traditional breakfast taco, which, which is, is chorizo, potatoes. Yes, chorizo. And yes, and chorizo That's you can. sausage. Uh, oh. It is, yes, it's a Mexican sausage. It's a little spicy. Um, you can so grind your own using pork, um, pork butt, or you can buy it at Ideal Market or one of the markets in town. I was going to ask you where to get it. I went to high school in Arizona, grew up there, and this was a Saturday morning regular for us. We really? Had, yes. All, and it was our favorite meal of the week. It was the best. Chorizo is delicious, but it is difficult to find good chorizo. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you have a meat grinder at your house, you can do it yourself. But, uh, <laughs> I don't but know. No, uh, you know, you can get it at, uh, at Ideal Market. It's probably the best place in town. That house. Great. All I right. doubt that. Now, my mom used go. to make these, not I. So tell us, how, how do we <laughs> yeah, go about putting we, this together? We have yogurt and stir and keep the yeah, potatoes so you have, going. Um, so you, and then you could top your breakfast tacos with whatever you'd like. So uh, our tacos that we're going to be doing a top taco have a lime, cilantro, avocado crema. Ooh, so good. Uh, oh, yummy. Diced onions. And we made it a little bit New Orleans style by adding crackling to it. They needed, <laughs> oh. they needed a little crunch. So wow. we uh, added Is that what this is? Oh, yeah. You make sure yeah, it's okay. Really, crackling's actually really easy to make. You know, if you uh, for if you you're, if you're yeah if you're like trimming <laughs> no if you're trimming like uh, your own pork at home like you're making you know you got that fat off the off the pork loin you just cut that fat up and you put it in the fryer and fry it up. So that's really all it is is the is the fat. It, it's all it is. And that's why it's delicious. <laughs> you just ate that's so good. So, uh, like so that. we're gonna do uh, we're gonna cut up some cilantro for the garnish and. And the, uh, so this is why he, he took over the cutting duties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I see. It's a little easier, right? Because he did it. I'd be there for three hours trying to. Three know. hours and I'd lose a thumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're going to take some, uh, some about, uh, about two ounces of the. Uh, is this about two ounces? That's uh, a little too much. <laughs> so these Kim was a big one. These are the small tacos that we're, this? you know, you get to try a lot of top tacos. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That's good. So we, we're doing that. Uh, pass it down. Okay. okay. You so get we're to doing build small, it. the smaller tacos so you can sample as much as you want. So you get to okay. assemble. So this is the one that you're going to be doing right. at well, the yeah, tacos. Yeah, that's probably too much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's probably too All right, much since too. you grew that's up good. on oh, these. Perfect. And yes. put a little salt on your potatoes. I guess I shouldn't use the same uh -huh. spoon, huh? And I'm going to follow with the uh, little dice. Here you can use. And put your potatoes on there. You can do that. There you go. See, I didn't even know what to use. It's whatever is handy. Right? Bare hand if you need to. Yeah, that's been That happens. the next one. Okay. Go the oh, you're one. gonna put some more in here. Yeah. And then we're gonna put a little. Got three uh, to go. A little dollop of crema on there. Now, what did you have you to do to, to make that out. crema? So you put it in a food processor. You okay. put a little sour cream or crema in the food processor, a and add, more. add uh, lime, a little bit of uh, there you cilantro. Go. Add a little bit of uh, avocado. Oh, Perfect. Uh, you're a pro. Of oh, avocado, you can tell you grew up a eating salt, these. A little granulated garlic. That's all you need. So is it crema like a sour cream or a? Yeah, it's a it's a little sweeter sour cream. Okay. Okay. So if you if you didn't have crema available, you could do a sour cream? Oh, yeah, okay. of course, yes. And crema, you can buy that at, uh, at the Mexican market okay. as well. Okay, yeah. yeah, well, you know what we do if we were I like lazy? the uh, Honduran crema. It's Ooh, really good. More that's potato on the middle one. More potato yeah. in the middle one. More potato. We used to do refried beans. I know that's not healthy, <gasps> oh, but we used yummy. to use refried beans sometimes if we didn't do the oh, yeah. potatoes. Uh, beans mm. are a staple in the Mexican diet, of so course. Easy. And camellia <laughs> beans makes a great, uh, has a, the best in town. If you want uh, high-quality beans, you use camellia. Even the black beans and yeah, uh, they're pinto beans. beans. They're not just red beans, Camellia. So and they're a sponsor of Top Taco. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, oh, perfect good. how that fit right in there. Yep, right. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So there you go. Cilantro makes everything so much all right, and that's and it. That is your wow. lovely uh, breakfast taco. For, we'll and be serving it. Roll it up. How do you oh, roll the crackle. it up? How do you do oh, yeah, I was about to say. You can't forget about the crackle. You insane? So we put a lot the... on there. Now, do you just fold it over? Because I like to kind of fold over the end and then uh, go side so it doesn't eat it fall out. However you like, darling. Okay. She wraps it like a big cigar. <laughs> no, but here's the key. This right, is what go, I learned. Go for it. Okay, See, I like, so watch this. So you're like going to fold it over the end first, huh? and then one side over. Gosh, I, we filled it up so hot. And this way, oh, then you have a, a little pocket. Yes, it doesn't spill out the end, and you can eat it like that. Oh, Shay, and a beautiful, beautiful margarita. Oh, I was a, <laughs> amazing. That looks good. Okay. Uh, okay. They're also not only do we have how many types of tacos at we Top have, Taco? 
50 restaurants competing. 50? See, you can make the best taco and margarita in the city. So oh, you have cocktails delicious. and tacos. We have you cocktails on and tacos from every restaurant, and we have um, we have street tequila tastings. We've got Corona beer. We've got wine. We've got it's an unlimited event. You come in, pay one price, it's the best thing ever. and everything, cool. it's all you can eat, all you can drink. It's an amazing wow. It's like concert. paradise. We'll see you Thursday night. It sounds fantastic. Yep. And we have margaritas before uh, 10 so, a.m. So this is, is a, uh, <laughs> this is a Hornitos Blackberry Bramble that okay. we're doing here. It's uh, blackberries, and this uh, is blackberry puree, and uh, basil simple syrup, a little jalapeno, and um, and then these are Grand Marnier soaked blackberries, which Ooh. is the, uh, oh, yay. the best part. Thank you. Going We're going to post these recipes on the website, on WDL's oh, yes. website, oh, yeah. so everyone oh, will know you. how to make it at home unless they go, which they should, Thursday evening at Waldenburg Park. Yep, it's at it Waldenburg Park, and it's also for a great cause. We are supporting a charity called One Heart NOLA. Oh, yes. And they do uh, stuff for foster kids in the city. Um, they actually help the kids that age out of the state foster care system at 18. They try to make sure these kids stay in school have a bed to sleep on, have books, class rings, all kinds of stuff. So they're really, uh, they're really out there doing great things for the community. So That's we're really, really proud Thank of you for what you're doing for the community. Yeah. Thank you so Both much, Jeff. You. Thank, Thank you. you. That was terrific. Top Taco. TopTacoNola.com, <laughs> you can get your tickets. We might be sold out before the event starts, so get your tickets huh. in advance. Trust us, get them now. They're delicious. <laughs> See you soon. We'll be right back.